Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Eric the Old Jarhead here. So I got another one for you today. The pros and cons of roof mounted solar panels versus ground mount solar panels. And what I see as some of the differences that can really help you decide whether you wanna go ground mount or whether you wanna put them on the roof. So let's take a look at those. Obviously right here, we got the ground mount panels and up on the roof, we got roof mounted panels. We've got six 305 watt, 24 volt nominal, so really about 36 volt panels. And here on the ground, those are my original panels I put in about 14 years ago. And I just got attacked by a bug. They are three 205 watt, 12 volt panels, which really means they're a little over 18 volts. So let's talk about the pros of having ground mount panels. To start off with, I think it's obvious that it's a lot easier to adjust, to clean, to rotate, to change, to rewire, all that kind of stuff, your ground mount panels. You can tilt them so that in the winter, the snow sheds off and you catch more light. And of course, like they are now, you can tilt them more upright so that they catch more sun during the day. Even now, with the sun more to the west than when I adjusted the panels, they're still in full sunlight and they're gonna be producing good power. So those are all, I think, pretty obvious pros for having ground mount panels. Are there any cons? <laughs> well, one is, if you don't get them high enough off the ground, animals like them. Out here, we've got free range cattle, we've got wild horses, deer, bears, coyotes, wolves, cougars, you name it. And I've actually had on my game camera pictures of bears licking off dew off of the two dishes, these two dishes here. Now, I don't use those dishes anymore. They were in use when I lived out here. Uh, I lived out here alone, so having some uh, satellite TV was kind of nice. Something to do in the, in the long, dark winter nights. And then the big dish there, that's a HughesNet dish, just gave me some internet while I was out here so I could actually work. And I even had a phone at that time. So on ground mount solar panels, the truth of the matter is the cattle can come up, rub their backs on them, the horses can. You know, there are some of those problems that you have with them. The dust when I'm out here either mowing or digging up the dirt like I did today. They get dust on them, but the rain will wash it off. But if you look at them, you can see they've got a lot of what's probably pollen and dust on the bottom of them. So they do get pretty dirty. You can see there's definitely some dust on them, though they still produce really well. Another con for ground mount solar panels is real estate. You know, when you're not putting them on the roof, you're gonna put them on the ground. You've gotta have a place to put them. And then, well, you gotta look at them. And in this case, the back of them. So it doesn't exactly make the nicest thing to look at when you're sitting on your cabin porch and looking out at your beautiful forest. That's one of the cons to me. You've got to have the room for them. And if I wanted to put another one up, well, I got to try to get it within 50 feet. Or if I run a higher voltage, I could push them out even further. But then still, I've got to try to trench in cable and all that kind of stuff. So there are some disadvantages to ground mount. If I were to say one's better than the other, hmm, maybe ground mount, but the real estate, that's the big issue. And so I think it's a toss up because if we look up there at the roof, well, that's real estate that I had sitting right on the roof. I mean, I, easy, right? Now, some of the disadvantages, well, let's talk pros. So some of the pros of having roof mounted panels is it's kind of set and forget. Forget about them because you're not going to do anything with them. You're not going to adjust them unless you have some kind of fancy adjustable roof mount system. Obviously, I don't. But they're sitting at the angle the roof is at too, which is 45 degrees. I'm above the 48th parallel. They would actually get better production if I could adjust them to 48 degrees. And I actually thought about doing that. And I suppose I could. I could lift the top of them up a bit, make some kind of a bracket to lift them up and hold them there. But the truth of the matter is, it's just too much of a pain to do it, and so I'm not gonna do that. Another issue with having them up on the roof is that the snow will slough off the panels and go onto the porch and then back up onto the panels. And that, folks, creates an issue where they're not gonna actually produce power for me, or very little. And of course, they don't slough the snow off as well as the ground mount panels. So on one hand, I can put a lot more panels with a lot more power in a space that I don't have to worry about. I mean, it's up on the roof, right? I'm not gonna do anything with it now, it's a done deal. But there are some other disadvantages. So one of the cons to having roof-mounted panels 
is that if you've got to climb up on your roof to do a repair, well, your panels are in the way. You're going to have to go around them. I also know that firefighters don't particularly like them because they can't cut through them because it's DC voltage. So they don't like that. There's a danger there. Uh, and you know, you've got to put a penetration in your roof in order to mount them. Now, there's pretty good stuff to do that with today. I've never noticed any leakage on mine after many years. But it is one of those things that I would say is a bit of a con. So you can't adjust them. They get buried in the snow. There are some challenges of getting up on your roof and doing any work on the roof. You, you obviously can't do it over those. So there are some disadvantages. On the other hand, they're very close to where all your equipment is. So you've got shorter cable runs. It's a lot easier to manage that. You don't have to worry about animals trying to climb on top of them or rub against them or anything like that. But if you got to replace them, that's going to be a challenge. Ground mount panels, if I've got to replace them, no big deal. Just disconnect them, unbolt them and replace them. Up on the roof, well, you can still unbolt them and disconnect them, but obviously it's a little more challenge getting those up there, let alone trying to replace one up there. However, from my perspective, as someone with an off-grid cabin in the woods, I like them both. The panels on the roof don't take up any ground real estate, so I really like that. They're close, as I mentioned, all that's good stuff. And they're just fixed, a big, huge array that's fixed on the roof. At the same time, I think it's better to also have ground mount panels. And I mentioned this in my last video about adjusting the panels. Having a set of panels that you can turn more to the east and a set maybe that you could turn more to the west can get you more solar production throughout the day. In fact, if you had three ground mount panels, you could have one set turn more east, one set turn more west, and then a set due south. But again, takes up a lot of real estate. So I would say, from my perspective, the best of the two is the roof, only because I, got, I can put a lot more panels on the roof than I can easily on the ground. So I really like that they're up there. It doesn't take up any of my space on the ground. But honestly, ground mount panels are a lot easier to deal with. And I could put more up, but then I've got to look at them. So I kind of like the roof mounted panels better from an aesthetic standpoint. I don't have to look at them when I'm sitting on my porch looking out over the forest. And come on, that's a beautiful view, right? Beautiful green, tall trees, you just can't beat it. And I can watch the deer go by and the bears and everything else. And I don't have an obstruction, whereas with the ground mount panels I do. On the other hand, I can move my ground mount panels. So I think what I'll do is say, I think you should decide what's best for you, but I hope what I've given you might help you make that decision. I hope you got something out of that. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drop another video for you to check out right here. Y'all have a great day. Appreciate you watching. The old jarhead out.